Oh my god. Would you like to take for a rip? Thing out. Yeah, man. I'm <laughs> way on, me... stressed right now. <laughs> Forgot my wallet. Does anybody say no to that? Can we do that? And we're just now telling Caleb about the unfortunate news. You guys remember the ultimate farm truck? Yeah, Pivot Bio had us build it last year. Well, guess what? They're back at it again, and they've asked us to build the ultimate ranch truck. The ultimate ranch truck is gonna have a lot of the same features as the ultimate farm truck, but designed specifically for the rancher. And there's something special about this truck that I absolutely love, and I know you're gonna love it too. You wanna know what it is? It's gonna be themed after the legend John Wayne himself, and we get to call it the Duke. I wouldn't make it a habit calling me that, son. And the best part is, Pivot Bio is gonna give this truck away to one of you lucky viewers. Are you kidding me? All you have to do is click the link in the description below and get entered. There's no purchase necessary. This blows my mind. They're gonna give away this awesome truck to one of you guys with no purchase necessary. And surprise, surprise, that's not all you're gonna see in this episode. John Wayne's son, Ethan Wayne, comes to our shop. Yeah, we get to meet the legend's son, and guess what? He's here to make sure that we build a truck that's worthy of John Wayne's name. So, this is a labor of love, this is a great opportunity for us, and it's a great opportunity for you to win a truck. Now, when someone asks you to build a truck for the Duke, <laughs> you do it. And that's what we're about to do. Let's go! Slap some bacon on a biscuit and let's go! So, Iron, what's the plan, like, with this truck? This truck, we bought it back, but we installed, like, I think it was a six inch uh, yeah. lift suspension. So it's a little bit bigger than we need for the ranch truck, yeah. right? Yeah, a ranch truck, it's, it, it is tall for a ranch yeah. truck. So we are taking this, the lift kit off yeah. and installing just a leveling kit on the front, which is going to be two and a half inch. Kind of a unique opportunity. We actually built this uh, truck for a client. He ended up not needing it. So we're able to take this truck and reuse it for the ultimate ranch truck. Super beneficial because we know where this truck's been. Super low miles, super clean. So we just need to pull the suspension off, put the other suspension back on, and we've got a clean platform to start with. What we do, we're doing the bed, tires, wheels, uh, lights. Lights, custom uh, bumper. Custom bumper. Yeah. Is this, this one's getting painted? I think, I'm not sure, but either one. Either okay, paint we've talked or about paint. a paint, we've talked about wrap. I don't know if we're there yet on whether or not we go one way or the other, but for right now, we just need to get the suspension off stock suspension back on so we can start with the build. All right, Doug, need a hand? Sure. Oh man, I hope Doug gets back with that impact soon. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if there's a bolt on the other side that I have to watch out for or not. Oh, man. So Doug's thinking smart. We gotta take the bed off anyway. So he's gonna take the bed off first, give him some space to work. When you have the bed off of a truck, it's just so easy to work around. I don't know how big the tires and wheels are we're running on the ranch truck, but they're not that 38. big. 38s. 38s? Right. Are these 38s? said 38. No, these are 37s. We're going with a 37. bigger tire, smaller wheel, going with a 20 inch wheel. Oh. 38s were the same thing we had on the farm truck. So it'll have a very similar look to the farm truck with the Fab Four fenders, 38 inch tires.
Oh, okay, hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Slowly, my fingers are in there. Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm not slow to that lift. Yes, there is. I was going slow. Down. Money. Money, 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 money. Give me some. You just saw we pulled the truck in. We got it all torn down. We are ready. We got our blank canvas right now to build the ultimate ranch truck. But I'm not a rancher, so we need to bring in some inspiration to help us out with this. And so we thought, bring in none other than Ethan Wayne. He is John Wayne's son, and he's going to come in and help us understand what we need to do to make this the ultimate ranch truck. We're gonna give him a tour around the entire shop, let him drive some of the vehicles, and then see what he thinks we need to do to make this the Duke edition. You don't want to get your hand in that thing. Right now, uh, I have a team that plays Sparks did like a little reel with it. I should have turned her away. But how was I to see? I was firing, she was gasoline. You'll probably need one for your Huntsville land, I think. All three acres. Yeah, all three acres. I mean, you, you don't want to walk that. Without this, oh my yeah. lord, that's a lot of, a lot of metal. This aluminum, yeah. Look at that, yikes. Yeah. You don't want that thing to catch it. Yeah, and just random recoveries, right? So I think that's one of the genius things of Sparks is even though he'll purchase these things and there's no rhyme or reason to it at the time, it's within yeah. within a couple months, it's. Hey, I have the perfect tool for that. Let me come help you. Yeah, you have to bring that to California and do some rescues. Right? <laughs> all right, Ethan. We got a lot of stuff we got to figure out. But since you drove all this way, I figure we got to have a little fun first, right? Oh, good. So why don't we hop in the bro-dozer? It's the best place to discuss ideas of building trucks. Oh, you got me scared. Awesome. And as you drive it around, we might be able to come up with some good ideas for the ultimate ranch truck. Let's do it. This is like the main awesome. truck that we built to have fun. We went down to Moab, we conquered all the obstacles. Then we later on built a monster truck replica out of it. So this is the ultimate fun truck. We built the ultimate farm truck. We're gonna work on the ultimate ranch truck and we built the ultimate fun truck. Oh my God. Would you like to take it for a rip? Thing out. Yeah. You can Me? check it out or I would check it out from the inside. This, is your, inside. this is your playground back here, okay? Awesome. I'm, I'm gonna supervise in the back. Well, you wanna be in the back? It's your birthday, you wanna ride no, in the no, front? No, no, I'll supervise in the back. It's his first sure? time. You need to coach him through this. All right, I'll coach. Okay. Then we'll play the switcheroo. That way you get to drive for your birthday. <laughs> there you go. All aboard the fun bus. Up here? Yeah. Is you haven't been an Olympic athlete. Nope. I forgot. Yeah, I gotta charge you. Okay. It costs one high five. <laughs> Party time! So it's actually very easy. You know, you're a lot wider than you think. What I want you to try to do is hug this side. Now go slow. Now go turn right. Now push this one all the way this way. Oh yeah. Just watch your back tires on that right there. We're good. Isn't that rad? Awesome. And the best is this button right here? Yeah. Self center your rear steer back into the middle. Oh, cool. So now I want you to do the same thing. Come up here. Okay. We did it. Where if you turn left, your back tires are going to go left. So if I'm turning right, I want to move this to the right? No, it'll turn you left. So bring your. Start turning around the left. Yeah, right. in this truck should be incorporated into the ultimate ranch truck? 
Or is rear steer a little, a little over the top? now that I've used it. <laughs> what do we need to put on the Ultimate Ranch Truck to be the Ultimate Ranch Truck? To be approved by John Wayne. Well, I think we need to put some, some items that were from him in there. Okay. And so we can work on curating like some things that were actually his because nobody can get those. Like yeah. that's not, we don't have anything that's ever gone out that belongs to him. Nice. So if we can do a truck together, we definitely have to put something that's directly from the man I into agree. the truck. If it's going to be a John Wayne truck, it's got to be personalized to him. I mean, yeah. it's called the Duke. It probably needs a gun rack. Okay. It probably needs I'll, uh, yeah. Yeah. Remember those little styrofoam <laughs> cups, little white styrofoam cups? You know, yeah. you chew tobacco yeah. and then they Oh, no, those are for your sunflower seeds. Yeah. <laughs> and then we need a flat spot on the dash because they he put it on the dash and we drive down those dirt roads. Oh. And everybody was panicked that that cup was going to fall. How did they never fall? It never yeah. fell. <laughs> now the handheld cam. Whoa! <laughs> Like doing donuts with Ethan Wayne, yeah! Yeah! Woo! That yeah! is a trip. Yahoo! Come on, Caleb, give us your best birthday. Yeehaw! Yahoo! Yeah, there you go. It's a good Yahoo, son. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what this truck does remind me because this is an F-350, but my dad, we were talking about his ranching days. He partnered with a guy named Lewis Johnson, and Louis said, look, we're growing cotton, and I'll get, I'll guarantee you four bales of cotton per acre, or I'll buy you a new truck. And my dad Ooh. said, if you get four bales of cotton per acre, I'll buy you a Cadillac. So the first year, he didn't get it, and so he bought my That's father right. a truck. And this truck had a long and crazy life. It went over to my dad's production company and then to my oldest brother and through his kids and then on to my other brother. And I used it as a race truck for motorcycles. Uh -huh. But it's something that I always thought would be cool if we could take that around to events for the Cancer Foundation uh, awesome. and use it at the runs and things like that. But mine's going into the exhibit in Fort Worth. Oh, is it really? So maybe you guys could remake one of those. Yes, please. Really? Yes, yes, Does yeah. anybody say no yeah, to that? Can we do that? What's a 68 <laughs> Ford F-250 camper special? Can we do it, please? Are you serious? Am I yeah. asking or are you asking? Really? Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, sounds like we got a lot on our plate. We've got the ultimate ranch truck we got to finish. We've now got the uh, Duke 68. Sounds yeah. like a good 68. name for that. Oh, I like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Dad's like old it. truck that we're going to make a, a remake of it so he can take it around to events for the, for the Cancer Foundation. Yeah. That's awesome. And, That's uh, going to be awesome. That'll be way awesome. Well, Duke 68, John Wayne Cancer Foundation truck. Yeah. yeah. So Duke 68 will go around to Cancer Foundation events to raise money for the Cancer Foundation? Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to, where's the truck right now? Newport Beach. Okay. Hey Siri, I need a ticket to Newport Beach. <laughs> I need to go now. Yeah. So the last time that we met with you, you said, guys, I want to add another project. My dad's got this 1968 Ford F-250 yeah. camper special. Yeah. You did an excellent job restoring this. I'm not finding blemishes or anything like that. I'm, no, I'm we, not... we restored it twice. The second restoration, this guy, Ed Duffy, who's local here, just did an amazing job. Yeah. You know, he knew old cars and he knew what it needed and he knew how to get that crooked gate out of it. And it, it really is a great car to drive right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna miss it. Let me tell you something about this truck. My dad got it for free. He yeah. gave it to my brother, Michael, so he got it for free. He gave it to my brother, Patrick, so he got it for free. And Patrick <laughs> sold it to me. <laughs> but I didn't know the whole story. Patrick, that's later. true capitalism, that's great. <laughs> so if the yeah. IRS asks, yeah. it was free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really cool project. Not only because it's this old of a vehicle, but just everything behind it. I always talk to people, I'm like, do you know who the most famous cowboy in the world is? And it's always John Wayne. John Wayne obviously has that incredible film legacy. Yeah. But what a lot of people don't know, what some of these projects will help us get out to the public at large is that John Wayne has a separate legacy in fighting cancer that's 40 yeah. years old now. And uh, if you come to the museum, you'll see one wall is all his film credits. And then the last room that you go through, there's another wall and it's all the, um, fellowship trained surgeons that have come out of the John Wayne
Cancer Foundation Fellowship. So these are general surgeons that come and train for two years, learn how to do research and, and get multidisciplinary uh, surgeries under their yeah. belt, and then they specialize in brain, breast, melanoma, GI or urology cases, and they're the best in the business. And he's, there's, there's 200 of those guys out there. Wow. Each one of those doctors works on three to 600 patients a year. So that's 100,000 people a year in yeah. this country that are getting top shelf care because of John Wayne, and he doesn't even know about it. It's another incredible oh, legacy. Wow, that is incredible. And you guys are supporting that. Right? Yeah. And so being able to like see that history come through and then seeing what you're doing currently with all this and whatnot, we're, we're more than honored to work with you guys on this well, project. Watch what happens, watch what's okay. in here when you open the gate. It comes with a chocolate <laughs> <laughs> It comes with a dog. Yeah. No, I Finn. don't know how we're going to restore Finn. We're not giving but... it away. <laughs> yeah, Ethan, do you want to back this out for us? Well, why don't you back it out? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. on that side. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm <laughs> way on, me... stressed right now. Let me call insurance real quick. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm going to get... Chipped into reverse, he'll want to, like, jump out of the garage real All quick. Right. As you can see, the boys are back with John Wayne's truck, the original camper special. And while they were gone, guess what? We were able to source a 1968 F-250. Not a camper special, but let me show you what makes a camper special a camper special. Right here, you have the toolbox. That is what makes a camper special a camper special. So, Iram has already sourced the toolbox, and now it's time for him to work his fabricator magic in being able to put it right there in the side of the other 68 F-250 and make it a camper special. And while he does that, we're sending Amigo deep into the engine bay to go through every nook and cranny to make sure that that F-250 runs like a top. But you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna go check on Amigo. Let's go. All right, so I've got Chris underneath the hood of the John Wayne truck, seeing what's going on, see what we have to fix, what we have to change in order to get it exactly like John Wayne's truck. Tell me what you have discovered. The wrong color. The wrong color? That's it? Yeah. <laughs> that's Camino colors right there. Yeah, the Camino colors. That's, what, that's why I like it so much. The fuel line is the wrong one too. Wrong I put new one. one. Yeah. And the bell, I need the AC too. The AC compressor. Perfect. The way it was in factor, all we need is an AC compressor, AC compressor. a belt, repaint this to blue and a fuel line. And the fuel line, yeah. Four things? Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. You already got the bolts out. Yeah, but... Somebody put glue in there. Oh, how dare they? Look. It's a good seal. Yeah, it's a good seal. It keeps the inside inside, the outside outside. Oh, look at Whoa! Very clean. That's like new. That's not bad. Okay. Let's get the other one. Power by Ford. That actually gives me a lot of confidence when I see power by Ford. Makes me think I'm going to be powered by Ford. Yeah. Man. And Chevy. And Chevy. And Ram. You're powered. Yeah. Looks like new oil. Yeah. Where do we put the supercharger? The supercharger? Yeah. You want the supercharger? <laughs> yeah, I think like right here. Okay. One yeah. out the top of the hood. When we were down there, he says he might want to build another one of these, but make it a short bed and put a coyote inside. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Whoa! Nice! See? <laughs> no hey. fuel? No fuel. It's right, so. going up. Look! 
broken. It cracked the bump, the pump. The fuel pump's gonna crack? Yeah. It's a brand new fuel pump. Look. You see it? So Amigo worked really hard and got the water pump and everything swapped out so we can get this off the robulating. Started topping it off with fluids. Housing has a crack in it right in the casting. So called O'Reilly's. They're gonna get us one quick. So I'm gonna run down there and grab one so we can get it swapped out tonight. Uh, so we can get it out to Robbie Layton. The next day. Cylinder number seven. 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 The seven to What's that machine? How do you determine it's number seven without taking anything off? I check every uh, every cylinder and every every cylinder when you take the, the wire out. Yeah. It's make it fire. And and the number seven is not doing nothing. That's why I, I take my test compressor and put it in, and nothing compressor in there. So what's going on in there to cause it no compression? Uh, Just maybe seals worn out? No, or? maybe valves, maybe um, piston rings, head gasket, the head crack. First thing we need to decide now is when we need to take this with Robbie. So if it's here today or tomorrow, uh, we have some time to pull this out and take the body there. Ten what minutes ago, Caleb left and went on a phone call with Robbie Layton. With Robbie Layton, the guy that's going to paint the truck. And we, during that time, we established that cylinder number seven is done. So the solution is to pull the engine out and rebuild the whole thing. And we're just now telling Caleb about the unfortunate news. Whoo! That was a good episode, wouldn't you say? Tore apart the ultimate ranch truck. We found a replica truck for John Wayne's personal truck because his son Ethan asked us to build a replica to raise money for the Cancer Foundation. <laughs> The son of John Wayne asked us to build a truck. Does that just blow your mind? My mind's blown. And we even let him drive the Brodozer. The son of John Wayne drove the Brodozer with me in it. <laughs> what a great day. Which means next episode is going to be even better. So you're going to want to buckle up. And while you're buckling up, why don't you go ahead and put the comments and let me know which truck you're more excited for. Duke 68 or the Duke Ultimate Ranch truck. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do. Let's go. Trucks park nose to nose. Look at old school, new school. Figure out how to combine the two. You know, John Wayne's original truck came with a tool box on the bedside. They are asking for the same box. This bedside is not designed for that, so I had to make a little frame around the toolbox to build it into the bedside. I don't know what it is. Hey, Alan, come taste this. Did you pour a monster in there? Dream. Somebody's been putting sugar water in. Close, we're almost there. Not doing blue anymore, we're doing red. <laughs> but I thought it was supposed to look like that truck. I think that was the point. Yeah. Kind of looks like a jawbreaker. You can see all the different layers of paint and stuff that the, he's grinding off of it. Bueno, perfecto. <laughs>